Hey guys, what's up? So this time what we're going to be covering is what distortion even is and how to use it. Okay, so let's get started with this. It is one of my favorite demonstrations and it's a really good way of showing how distortion works. Basically, right here we have a test wave. You can see I can move it around. Lower, higher. We'll put it up around... We'll do 300. Okay. So now here, it's running straight from that into just this. It's a bit crusher in logic, but it's a clip distortion the way we're using it. So here, we can pull things down, and you'll see it doesn't really do too much, but as soon as we start to boost it up, boom. Right there is where we get the distortion. And what that does is just makes all these little peaks pop up there. And that's that staticky sound that we're used to hearing with distortion. And you can see here, this first wave gets bigger. And as soon as it hits the point where it starts to distort, it moves a little bit more and just can't anymore. And that's as those other harmonics get bigger and bigger and it gets more and more distorted and messed up. And there are different types of distortion. Here's just a, another clip distortion. So this one. Okay. So this one, you can see we could pull down that. This is the level where it starts to distort. And as we lift this up, you'll see there. And we can boost that more, and you'll see the wave can get bigger before it hits that point and distorts. And something else you don't really expect, if you do the same thing with a compressor, you get these very fine harmonics there so you can in logic at least adjust the way it distorts once it does and here you see the faster we make everything the more we really compress the more we really distort that initial wave so how do we use all this here let's get set up I'm gonna put in and eight oh All right, just the most standard 808 bass line there is. And now what we're gonna do is put a compressor and one of those soft clippers on it. And you can hear as those harmonics come up, you start to be able to hear it on smaller and smaller speakers.
All right, so now what we're going to do is just go through and find some kind of apple loop that's in that key. Just something we can throw in there. do this clubby thing, whatever the hell that is.
you can use distortion basically to make things more audible on small speakers. You can kind of create a little bit more of a fuzzy high end with it and use that to bring some things forward. Or you can just make things dirty and give them that energy that really makes them fun to listen to, which is kind of what we did here. All right. So, you know, the deal, like, comment, subscribe, do all that junk. Um, you can get this loop kit that I'm using. I'll post a link down at the bottom, but this is the Galaxy MIDI loop kit and it's super useful. So this is going to be up in my shop along with my crash courses. So yeah, until next time.